Welcome to Maylee Got Some Tea. I got a future, we got a future. Don't mess with people who don't got a future. Yes, that's right. Welcome to Maylee Got Some Tea. We do not play over here. We got future and we do got some tea. Let's get it. Hey, you guys. How you guys are doing? Oh, man, I haven't been here in a while. But y'all know, you know, I've been working and do what I have to do and everything. Uh, I know y'all been seeing me on Instagram, posting pictures and, Insta uh, you know, videos and stuff like that. You know, having a good time because I do suffer from a lot of stuff. You know, I, I hang out with the most person I love and the best friend that, you know, I mostly care about. That always been there for me since day one. And I want you to, you know, just show you guys that it's okay to have fun and enjoy yourself and have a good time with yourself. You don't need, you know, to be just there depressing and feel lonely. And child, I showed off. I showed y'all I'm a person that likes to have fun, like to go out and eat good and dress nice. You know, sometimes I be seeing me in my Inst uh, uh, Instagram story, you know, just going on with my, you know, not, not too you know, glammed up, but you don't have to be all the way glammed up to be, you know, speaking facts and everything. I'm going to tell the real tea and real news what's going on. That's why they, they called me, maybe got some tea for you guys. It's exactly what it is. So, um, uh, it, it's a lot of good thing that's happening to me, and I don't want to tell you guys and ruin and spoil it for you guys. A lot of good thing that's happening to me, and I, I'm blessed. Y'all will be seeing me I don't know why y'all going to see me. Y'all going to be seeing me on some platforms. I don't know when that's going to happen. But just hope you know, baby, your baby girl got signed up. And and I'm happy. And I'm not going to tell you what is it is. It's pretty much a secret until, you know, I see something out of it. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys. And um, that this part of my moment right now. So the reason I'm going to go start with this video is because that I'm seeing a lot of negative and disgusting things on my damn view page on Instagram. And it's very disturbing me. And it's very, every time I go on that damn page, I have to be careful. Like every time I go on that, on Instagram, because Instagram, you know, it's like, it's like a drug to me. But sometimes it's like, I, that's where I mostly get my information from. And Instagram and sometimes, and sometimes TikTok. But the thing about Instagram is that I've been seeing a lot of inappropriate things on my damn Instagram. And I don't even watch stuff like that on my damn page like that. So basically, it's it's the most nastiest shit ever. It's been showing me very gruesome violence that I've been seeing on my page. It is very disturbing. And I don't like seeing that stuff on my page. Every time I see it, it brings me low vibration. It brings me low spirit. And I don't feel, uh, you know, a minute to talk and everything like that. It's the most gruesome video I have seen in my page. And it keeps going back to back to back. And every time I blocked them, reported them, even though I did my research, how to disconnect people from people, and it, it just keeps going. It's the same account. And I don't understand what Instagram have a policy here, but I know them, right? They had a policy since 2015. They have this policy. They cannot post any content. It's very surprising to me that you're saying you don't, you don't allow posting video of violence, and especially that little disgusting, disgusting female, you know, this unspeakable mother breastfeeding her child and then sexualizing all of it. I was so disgusted by that. It was like, ma'am, what the hell is wrong with you? This is a like, like, like I don't understand. It's not just a Instagram. It's not just a Instagram platform. It's just very disturbing. That is child abuse and child, uh, like, like, come on. It was so disgusting and very undespicable to even explain. The minute I saw that video, I didn't even want to watch it. I didn't even want to save it on my damn page. I don't want y'all to see it. It's under, um, you know, YouTube guideline. But at the same time, it's very disgusting that Instagram is very despicable you saying i'm gonna show you our pictures you know as i'm talking y'all gonna see it in this it's saying they don't allow this type of you know this content they don't allow sexual violence child abuse violence videos but it's very this very crazy to me that you know i'm seeing this thing in my page i started seeing this since 2000 since 2003 since 2000, 2003 hit i'm starting seeing like disgusting violence and stuff like that in my page and I'm very surprised not being telling my friends, like, it's what you watch. What I watch is videos of news, what's going on in people's and stuff like that. 
I do not watch sexual disgusting content on my damn page like that. And not just that, I don't watch brutally murder people that's being decapitated. And it's showing me how they're doing it. It was very disgusting to me that it keep popping up and I keep reporting to them Instagram and nothing have been nothing have been done. It was very disgusting to me because I keep seeing it and it bring me more low vibration. It's like this is insane. I'm not thinking that the only thing that's happened to me. Probably your ends guys is not happening, but I don't know. Since the day that I, I probably reported um Instagram that I had a problem, whatever it is, for some reason they don't give a fuck about me. So they're basically just bringing that shit in my face. It's very disgusting that Instagram is doing that. Y'all need to change y'all policy. I keep reporting y'all numerous of time to please disconnect it. I'm seeing women now showing they t- You know what I just realized? I went, you know, I'm seeing women showing their titties and nipples like that. Basically, what they're telling me is that they're not raised the damn law. They're not can show, you know, women's titties, nipples, and stuff like that. I don't want to see a woman's nipple titties on my damn face. I don't want to pop up in my page. Woo! There's a whole big there's a whole big titties in my damn face. Just show it with the red lingerie. I, I, I wasn't expected to see that. That's not what I searched in my page. Why am I looking at a woman stripping and I'm seeing her titties in my face? I, I don't want to see that. That's not something I'm that's not something I like to see. I came in my page to see news and things that is very continent about my news and I want to share with you guys, but it's very dis this very distressful because I can't because there's a lot of distasteful stuff that I've been popping up. It's like why every time I'm coming in this page, it's always some bullshit. But when I go to TikTok, it might be some other bullshit, but TikTok don't be like that. TikTok might have their own issues and shit like that, but I never come on in TikTok. I'm supposed to be ready. Ugh. Like this whole titties in my face. I don't have to endorse to that. I don't have to endure that. I don't want to see titties in my face. And I don't want to see a person getting brutally murdered for from uh, 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 for, uh, um, cartels and shit like that. And I don't want to see that shit. Videos that have been posted in my damn UP on um, my damn Instagram is insane. And the fact that I've been reporting to Instagram, writing them, I did everything I was supposed to do. And every single time the same content keep coming to my page. And I don't even watch shit like that. And the part that the stuff keep popping up in my page like that is insane. I don't know about you guys. If you're having the same thing, probably just me. Probably just other people that's going to the same thing. I contact. I even do whatever it is. It's insane. It's really insane. I don't know. It's because I don't know because when I went to my other my other account because remember, I have two accounts. One is my business account, meaning for my Instagram. And the other one is my, you know, modeling and acting stuff account that I changed it to so I make my manager change that account to just posting picture of me or some, you know, pretty pictures or, you know, uh, things that I do for that stuff. And the part is that I still have that type of content. And I don't even watch that. And the part that that thing is still popping up in my page is insane. I don't watch this and, uh, like disgusting, gruesome videos. And I, I don't feel comfortable. Every time I watch it, my low vibration goes down so bad. To the point that every time I watch video, every time that video has been closed, the, the things I have been seeing didn't go outside. I have to watch my back to see what fuckery crazy people will do to me next. Because it's insane. Because it's very insane. That your policy is saying this, but in my face, it's saying that. So y'all will excuse People who you care about, like a celebrity, they post something, they didn't want to see it, you probably will help them, you know, block them and stuff like that. Just like Lizzo, when Lizzo was getting, you know, the, the fat shame and stuff like that, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely was on Lizzo. Yeah, say no bullying a lot or another thing a lot, but about the other rest of these people that's going through the same fuckery. It's insane. That's not fair. Did I have to indulge that? And, 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 and breathe that shit in and endorse that shit in and then I have to watch that shit every fucking time like to be honest you don't know how many times I watch this these videos gruesome videos just coming in my YouTube and I don't all I report is on news that's the majority thing that I post about so basically that thing that I'm posting about should not be popping up 
I post on news. I follow people that I follow from high school. You know, or from high school. I follow them. I watch their stuff. Basically, what I'm watching should not affect by what I do. And I don't follow people who post gruesome videos. I watch who I follow. And the fact that I don't even follow these people on my damn news page, it tells me a lot. I don't follow these people, but you want me to watch this shit. I don't know what Instagram is trying to do, but it's insane. I have my video up. I'm trying to create a content and, and search things that's going on around the world and stuff like that. I don't post like other people, regular people do. I don't post back to back to back. I post what's important to my page. If y'all want to go to other people's page, y'all want to see people content, content, like, that's them. How I post in my page is very different. I give you details. I give you, you know, understanding what's going on in that picture. I give you online site for you can know where to find out research from. That's all I can give you. That's how I run my page. It's the fact that I'm running my page very differently and it showed me very gruesome and disgusting content I don't even allow on my page. It's not what I watch. It's what the hell is going on. Because I know what I watch in my page. I'm not saying I'm being innocent, but it's very insane that I'm seeing very gruesome videos in my page that I don't even allow watching. I don't want to see that. And I'm here... You know, scrolling around and stuff like that. I, like, I'm here right now. Like, the minute I was about to, you know, I wake in my bed, use the bathroom, whatever it is, what I do. Then the most thing that's coming out, I'm, I'm here about to put my weed, like, you know, put braids on my hair and stuff like that. I know I do my own hair and, and stuff because hair is being expensive as hell. So I have no trouble to do my own hair. And a whole damn stuff popping up in my page a big titties in my face. I don't want to see a big titties in my face. And it's a female's titties. I don't want to see that. No bras on, no strap on. It's like there's no morals. And the fact that I'm seeing a, like I'm seeing that stuff more and more and often. This woman sexualizing her child, breastfeeding her child, and then recording it and being making some sexual moan. Are you insane, ma'am? The child is in the video. It's the fact that Instagram allowed that shit on my damn youth page, and they reported it several times. And the, the thing that's very different to me is the same video and probably different can be come back to me and, and I'm watching the same exact shit. And I am keep thinking, then I blocked you. I blocked the person. I remember that time I blocked the person so many times to the point that this person returns to my page again. And it says block. But when I go back here, it's saying a whole different thing. I never understand Instagram. Like, I never understand that. You saying you don't allow this on your, you uh, like, in your um platform, but you're allowing this to happen. I don't know what kind of freak show Instagram got going on, what kind of demonic shit, because remember, there is a lot of demonic shit, Illuminati stuff that's going on in this industry, and trust me, I don't want to be a part of it. It's a part that I'm in this platform, and then I'm showing people educational stuff, but you trying to put my spirit down and you don't want me to show this type of stuff because you know, because I'm a low content creator and people might don't give a shit about me. So you're trying to put me more down and not make me, you know, put this shit on my face. I don't know, allegedly, because it's crazy to me that I'm posting content that I really do not watch. I don't watch whatsoever. And the fact that this, I even tell my fans, it probably what you watch. I know what the hell I watch. I watch some fine guys, you know, with their shirt off, fine as hell. I, 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 I even see pictures of women, you know, sh- you know, modeling and stuff like that to the walkway with them, sh- them short ass skirts. That's all I watch. And I have, if I can show you my, I will. This is all I watch. Why are all these things in my, in my damn page? I don't watch this content. Why is it my content? It's insane. And then the part, the thing that's really bothering me, every single time I. I click on this bio. I don't follow them for nothing. I don't follow none of them. It's insane that I'm seeing them in my my, my damn you page. It's insane. I do not want to see that in my page. Why you are keep posting that in my page? I don't want to see that at all. It's not something I want to see in my youth page. Especially TikTok. TikTok, I have no problem with TikTok and stuff like that. TikTok has no problem. But sometimes I just hate TikTok. Many reasons is because my manager take control of TikTok. You know, some there's news, majority news that I get is from TikTok and it's good. It's a good platform. And sometimes you be so you gotta be sometimes you have to be quicker than TikTok before they, you know, block some people, you know, take down their videos. I was so lucky that my manager took a video down. I mean took a video, you know, a screenshot or whatever it is. 
saved it on her phone and posted it because trust me you just have to be the first one to just do you gotta be on game the thing about tiktok you know i love tiktok i'll be on tiktok 24 7 majority of the time i go there listen to music listen to what's going on with the children and stuff like that what they listening to what kind of hip-hop i like i like listening to bam jam hip or like hip-hop music and stuff like that. yes i do i like listening to this but the thing about this is like when they're talking about like I'm into crime, you know, crime, you know, crime stories and stuff like that. I like listening to stuff like that sometimes, not all the time. You know, I listen to them, you know, talking about tragedy people. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Tragedy people, things that's going on in people's, you know, how they end up being, you know, brutally murdered and stuff like that. I'm sorry. You know, stuff. I'm sorry, you guys. My dad was calling me on my, you know, before the video had been uh cut short for a little bit I was my dad was calling me on my phone I'm, i really do apologize but like i was speaking it's insane it's really insane how many things that i'm seeing on my damn youth page i don't want to see that it is it's really insane i'm looking at people posting stuff on their stuff tiktok like like I said, majority of things that I watch on TikTok is, like, news and people, like, some people, like, they do, you know, you know, people who, like, crime scene and stuff like that, crime scene stories and stuff like that. You know, I watch them to learn more about these things like that. You know, there's people, I might do some crime scene and stuff like that, but I have to be respectful, more professional and know what I'm talking about. So, it will take me a little bit more time to talk about things like this. But the thing that's really bothering me to be the most is the fact that sometimes that's bothering me it's just that i was so surprised thinking i did not see it but people are saying that um there was a video i don't know how tiktok let that stuff happen let that stuff slide but finally they took a event of that and they stopped that video it was going around it was basically a kid like not there was children or men or teenagers that was playing with you know look like a ball but when you look closer to it and they click it to the front camera it was a decapitated head it's insane how things are being allowed on, on on this damn youth page. It was gruesome. And then people say, oh, I want to see the video. Not on this damn platform. Y'all insane. I don't want to see videos like that. It's very messed up with my spirit. It brings me down so bad. It's something I don't want to see a content like that. It's a content I don't want to see. It's bring me low vibrational sentence. I don't want to see content like that. It brings me so much low vibrational, and I don't want that on my page. It was just so disgusting seeing that. So, um, that's a lot of things I want to talk about. I've been, been here for like two weeks because a lot of things I've been doing and working and stuff like that. I was having some issues as well. And, you know, and also I was trying to go away from depression and stuff like that to keep myself um, keep going and be more happy and stuff like that. I was so happy I could see my friend, my best friend. This is the person that keep me motivated and keep me going. That's the one that, yeah, if y'all listen to my, if y'all support of my YouTube channel, y'all can just, you know, she's the one that went and talked about the Megan the Italian situation. She was there. She didn't talk much, but she did have something to say. If you want to go back to the video and go about the Megan the Italian and Trey Lane case and stuff like that, you can go on my, um, scroll down, you can see them. So, that's all I want to say with you guys. It was just so disgusting. So, I want to tell you guys, do you experience the same thing I'm going through? Or is it just, you know, is it the thing that I watch? Because I know what I watch. I know the content that I watch. I know things that I watch in there. And it's none of that. And the fact that I'm, the things that you see in my page is none of what I show. I don't show gruesome content. Majority thing is being paused. So, it's insane. So, I just want to tell you guys that you're going to the same experience, the same phase, the same thing that's going on. And if you go to the same, please don't hesitate to comment. Don't don't hesitate to ask me, like, you know, maybe I'm going to the same thing. You know, maybe this, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to the same thing. It's probably something, you know, contact, you know, whatever it is I got to do. I don't know. I did enough things that I did research to block these people on my page to make sure that I'm not, you know, to see if what I'm doing because this content is shared. And my manager posts a lot of things. I be talking to my manager. She said, I don't know what's going on, but things are being posted. And it's insane. So, I don't know. I just 
pretty much ignore it, just block it. Every single time they call my youth, I just, I just, I just now turn to block Kiana at this moment. I just turn to block, 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 block. Yo, you back? Okay, block. You're back again? All right, re-block again. Re-block again. Report again. It's insane. It's insane. Even wrote to Instagram. Nothing been changed. Child, I don't know. But comment down below to, you know, tell me if you're going to the same thing or somebody in your family that is a content creator or, you know, that's in the platform or YouTube, you know, that is an influencer that's going to the same exact same thing that I'm doing. Or probably, you know, if they're not, well, how can, you know, how can I, people like me, what should I do to change that for my youth page? Because majority that I post in my youth page is news content, things that's going on in the world. So I don't know. So I want to tell you guys what a person like me, an influencer, should do about that. But if y'all do not know, I will be talking about more content and um, more things that's going on around the world. And I will be bringing some guests with you guys because I feel like some of them are going viral. And I'm very appreciated. I see the likes. And um, I went up to 2,000 and I'm very appreciated for the people who supported me. Thank you very much. And that's all I have to say. Please, guys, have a good day. Be safe. Um, have time with your family. Don't worry about negative energy. Don't worry about people who tell you you ain't going to make nothing. Just keep your heads up. Because a lot of people are going to fail you and tell you you're not going to be nothing. But it's always when you have something going on with yourself, it's always keeping silence until things start, you know, start getting away with yourself there and see with their own eyes. And I wish you guys the best of luck. And I also want to talk to you guys, before, you know, for the next video about police, you know, hiring policemen. I know somebody that I know from high school a long time ago that wants to be a police person, you know, to be a, a police officer. And she, on my story, I don't know if that's so true. She want to be a police officer. She's in college now. I don't know. But a lot of people are hiring for police, you know, police officers now. Bad people. So I will be talking more deep about that, you know, especially about the kid who, you know, the young man who died. I know I'm kind of late on it. It's a lot of things that was going on again. I will go and talk about it as well. So that's all I want to say to you guys. Please, guys, have a good day. Be safe and enjoy life. And thank you for the subscriber. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And welcome to Millie Got Some Tea. And Millie Got Some Tea is out. Bye. <laughs>